Welcome to another episode of Black and Blue. Uh, this episode we uh, we uh, have titled Royal Caribbean. Yeah, we're not going to talk about setting sail uh, in the Mediterranean or on any bodies of water, but we are talking about water and a boat. Mm-hmm. A boat mm-hmm. that is in distress. Mm-hmm. It's getting beaten by the winds. And the waves. And yeah. yeah, lots of terror in that boat. Mm-hmm. And uh, of course we're talking about the disciples on the mm-hmm. sea of... Yeah, and they're not with Jesus at this point. Yeah, Jesus is off praying you yeah. know, on a mountain, and they're they're making headway, but it's making headway painfully, right? Painfully, yeah. yeah. Uh, maybe an inch at a time. Who knows? Uh-huh. Oh. If that. If that, yeah. <laughs> Two inches forward, yeah. five inches back. And, you know, they're seasoned fishermen, uh, at least some of them, and they're afraid. I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm assuming this is a pretty bad storm. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't think it's... It, 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 it must be something that maybe uh, Petey... Jimmy, uh, you know, uh, and Johnny, and Johnny, uh, <laughs> ha- ha- have never seen before, mm-hmm. you know, and, and you know they're sinking. It's it's getting it's getting pretty 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 uh, scary for them, mm-hmm. and it gets even scarier because they see some figure walking towards them uh-huh. on the water. They think it's ghost. Yeah, they're like <laughs> call Ghostbusters. Uh-huh. Uh, now we know it's not a ghost. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's Jesus. And he's walking on the sea. And, and before we go any further, we just got to like talk about this for a moment. So Jesus is walking on the sea. Mm-hmm. And so it, it, it's not just Jesus showing off, you know, how, how cool he is, you know, uh-huh. uh, you know, moon walking uh, on, the, on, on the sea. Uh, he's not, he's not, he's not really saying, hey, look at me, guys. I'm, I'm the miracle king. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a miracle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, uh he, he's walking on the sea. There's something mm-hmm. bigger going on yeah. than just like this miracle, walking on the sea. Right. Um, yeah. Because, I mean, you have with, in the, especially the Old Testament, and this kind of image with water that it's um, this chaos. And, and who dwells in the water? Well, it's the, the devil. The, the chaos, chaos monster. monster. Yeah. The chaos monster. Himself. Yeah. The devil. Yeah. Sea is like a stand-in in the ancient world for death, uh, you know, wickedness, evil, mm-hmm. darkness, darkness uh, the power of, of, of the evil one. Mm-hmm. And, and the you, unknown. The unknown, you yeah. I mean, you can't see the bottom of the ocean. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, as a kid, I was, you know, we had a cabin uh, on a lake, and, and a lot of times I'd be afraid to jump in the water because we, we, you couldn't see it like an inch down in that water. And I'd be like, what's down there? <laughs> dun, 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 I watched too many scary <laughs> movies with like monsters coming out of the water. Um, and, you know, even maps in the ancient world, you know, they have like a, the serpent, you know, in the water. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's just, it's a place of the unknown, the place of death, the place mm-hmm. of uh, evil. And Jesus walking on all of that. Yeah. And that brings to mind uh, something right at the beginning of the Bible, because Jesus gives this promise. Um, our Lord gives this promise to Adam and Eve that uh, her offspring will crush the head of the, the serpent. Yeah. The chaos monster himself. Mm-hmm. Tread on it, stomp on yeah. it. it. It's just a beautiful image of the devil getting stomped. I always like that it one. It is, it is. <laughs> and, and so we just had a comment on that. And, you know, and Revelation actually has this interesting line, the mm-hmm. sea was no, no more. more. You know, the new heavens and new earth. And that, mm-hmm. that makes all of our, our sailors in church a little bit sad. But but really, all, all John John is saying is, mm-hmm. is evil no more, chaos no more, mm-hmm. death no more, the grave no more, the power of Satan no more. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and that's because of Jesus, who on the cross does tread, uh, you know, down all of our foes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, and rises from the dead uh, and tramples down death in the grave. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. But, you know, we're getting a little bit ahead of ourselves. I just We just had to, like, you know, just, just like, you know, Jesus walking on the water, it's not just like, uh, you know, just a miracle showing that, you know, he's really just powerful, which, which it is that, but it's more than that. Mm-hmm. Uh, so he's walking in the water. Yeah, the, the, the disciples are, are terrified. Mm-hmm. And uh, what's interesting is Mark gives us this little detail in, in Mark yeah. chapter 6. He meant to pass by them. Mm-hmm. Huh? Huh? Doesn't he care about them? Is it, is it a race? Is he trying to get to the I, to the other side well, before I, the disciples? I, I, I'm a runner, you know. Maybe <laughs> Jesus is going to show that he can beat them on foot, running on the Sea of Galilee. Uh, with his hands yeah. tied behind his back. What is this? 
<laughs> but you brought up the OT, the Old yeah. Testament deaconess. Uh, you know, this is a, the, Jesus is really uh, bringing out some OT flavor here. Mm-hmm. It's like he wrote the Old Testament or something. You know, I, I think it really shows that. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Because there's really two two examples in the Old Testament where mm. where this uh, happens with this passing by and. Uh, isn't it interesting? It happens to be with two very famous prophets. Two f- famous prophets that, you know, it's kind of funny. That's at the Mount of Transfiguration, too. I thought too. that, too, recently. Um, yeah. You know, yeah. Moses and Elijah. And so Moses is on Mount Sinai, mm-hmm. and uh, he's receiving the Ten Commandments, mm-hmm. all of yeah. the things. And uh, he wants to see God's glory. And... Uh, can anyone see God's glory and live? And the OT, no. No. That raw glory. Zapia. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. So God hides Moses basically in the cleft of the rock so that then Moses can't see him in his glory while he passes by, but he gets to see his backside. Back. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Whatever that means. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out in heaven what yeah. that means. <laughs> can't wait. I have so many questions. Uh-huh. Uh huh. And then Elijah, yeah, brought yeah. Elijah. That, yeah, that, it's exactly. an example that I think is easy to, to, to miss. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, right. Moses is kind of the easy one, but, right. but Elijah's the one I think we miss. Yeah, well, and especially because uh, this is this all takes place after the showdown on Mount Carmel with all of the um, prophets, the prophets of, Baal. of Baal just being trounced and shown to be uh, completely false. Mm-hmm. Um, but then this happens and. Uh, Queen Jezebel is really, 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 really mad. And so she's she's going to make, she tells, she says that she's going to make Elijah just like all of the prophets of Baal, dead. And so he's running um, away, very discouraged. And uh, he ends up going a journey of 40 days, 40 nights. Sound familiar? Um, All the way to to, um, Mount Horeb. It's Mount Horeb. So, hey, that's Mount Sinai. Um, (laughs) Lots of connections here. Uh huh. Yep. Connecting the dots of the OT. Yeah, and then Elijah is on Mount Horeb, and there's a lot of things that happen. There's what a storm. Yeah, earthquake. Yep. Uh, a rushing wind. Yeah, and, and he's not in any of those. God, yep. God is not in any of those. Nope, he's not. But then there is a still, still small whisper. <laughs> I've been using voices recently, so I'm going to start using voices again. Uh-huh. Hello. Okay. Um, and so God is there, but um, he's not getting, he's passing by yeah. Elijah as well. Yeah. Elijah's not getting to see God in, in his no. glory. It's... Um by the ears. Yeah. It yeah. is by the ears. And he's in that cave. Yeah. You know? So like like Moses, like you said, cleft, mm-hmm. uh, you know, in the rock there. Uh, mm-hmm. you, Elijah's in, in, in a cave. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but but, he, but so so Jesus is really making a reference to himself being really who? God. God, Yahweh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The very God that passed by Moses and passed by Elijah. Mm-hmm. Um, is, is really here now walking on the Sea of Galilee. Mm-hmm. And he makes that even clearer when he says, don't be afraid. It is I. I am. Mm-hmm. I am. That's, that mm-hmm. is the name that God gives himself at the burning bush when he has that chit-chat with Moses. Mm-hmm. At which mountain? Uh, Mount Sinai. Yeah. <laughs> Mount <Corinth. laughs> Yeah. Kind of a biggie mountain, eh? Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so... Uh, so, so he doesn't pass him by though, mm-hmm. you know, because now the glory of God, you know, is is not you know, just just this raw, uncontained glory of God. It's mm-hmm. it's a, it's a glory of God now enfleshed. Yes, a glory of uh, you know that's actually uh, put in a person, mm-hmm. uh, covered with flesh and blood, hair, mm-hmm. toenails, mm-hmm. feet, kneecaps. Mm-hmm. I mean, muscles, sinews. I mean, yeah. it's, it really, Jesus now is the walking, talking glory of of god Mm -hmm. uh so that we can actually now behold him and and live live. not die (laughs) yeah Mm -hmm. and so and so jesus doesn't really pass him by no No, he doesn't what does he do he climbs into the boat with them yeah Mm -hmm. he doesn't wait for them to get their act together he doesn't wait for them to sit you know to to actually like show they can really make the progress Mm -hmm. uh that they have what it takes right or even to confess him actually yeah i mean yeah they don't get any of it (laughs) yeah 
he just climbs on in. Climbs on in. Uh So he doesn't pass them by. Mm -hmm. I think that's one thing that really stuck out for both of us recently is that that expression, you know, that, that, you know, that, that he doesn't pass us by. Jesus will not pass you by. Mm -hmm. Now you may feel like, and I I felt like, you know, people pass Mm -hmm. me by. Mm -hmm. Life is passing me by. Mm -hmm. Uh, Just events are passing me by. I feel Mm -hmm. left out. I feel, Mm -hmm. you know, just unworthy. I feel uh, ashamed, insignificant, Mm -hmm. Um, you know, powerless, weak. I feel like Mm -hmm. no one sees me, all of that. Um, And, and, you know, this, this, this text uh, comforts deaconess in me uh, Mm -hmm. immensely. Yes. That we have a God in Christ Jesus, this, uh, this, you know, who, who doesn't actually pass us, pass us by. Yeah. I mean, instead, instead of passing us by, he takes on flesh in the Virgin Mary's womb. I mean, you go through the creed. That's basically, in a nutshell, Jesus not passing us by, that he was conceived and born of the Virgin Mary yeah. and suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried, descended into hell, and on the third day, he rose again from the dead and ascended into heaven. He's the I, king. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And now he sits at the right hand of the throne of God as yeah. king, yeah. who's already treaded down the serpent, Satan, um, death, and yeah. uh, sin for yeah. us. He hasn't passed us by. Yeah, and in holy baptism, he washes into a, a really awesome boat called yeah. the church. Mm-hmm. And he doesn't pass the church by. He climbs into the boat mm-hmm. as the king that he is. Mm-hmm. And uh, and we know that he is he's he's the captain. Yes. You know. So you know, life. We're gonna have storms. We're gonna have times where we feel like you know we're being uh, just overlooked. Mm-hmm. Um, but we we remember our baptism, and we know that no no we're not actually overlooked. We have the King of Kings, the mm-hmm. the Lord of Lords, the Prince of Peace, who has yeah. climbed into the boat, the church yeah. with us. Yeah. He wants to be with us. He's not going, yeah. oh, no, I've got to be in the boat with these guys. He, yeah, he's with us with all of our uh, fear, all of our doubts, mm-hmm. all of our questions. Yes. And I know I ask those why questions. You know, why mm-hmm. is this happening? Why is that happening? Yeah. You know, and he doesn't get turned off by those questions. Mm-hmm. He, In fact, it draws him right mm-hmm. to us mm-hmm. uh, all the more. Yeah, that's why he wants to take a seat with us. Yeah. yeah. And you know, knowing that he's the captain of the boat, you know, we know that we're gonna we're gonna make it through. Mm-hmm. Um, we will. And we're gonna make it to that safe harbor of the new heavens and new earth, where mm-hmm. the sea will be no more, and and we'll uh, we'll get to behold that glory, yeah. full blast. Yeah. And we'll get to shine uh, with that glory as it as as we <laughs> as we just bask in it. Right. Uh, it's gonna be amazing. Uh, that there will be no uh, need for the sun because really God's glory will be the the sun. light. Yeah, yeah. The sun. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, just what a joy to know that we have a God who doesn't pass us by in Jesus. Mm-hmm. And, and we know that we know that, especially with the cross, the cross is, you know, just the uh, the concentration of all the events, all of the circumstances, all of the all of the reasons, perhaps why, you know, God should pass us by. Right. And Jesus suffers them all to mm-hmm. death mm-hmm. and buries all that in his death and rises to say mm-hmm. that, hey, hey, don't be afraid. It is I. It is I. Don't be afraid. It is I. And he climbs into the boat with us, and we get to, to be at peace mm-hmm. and know that in the midst of all the terrors, all of the storms, that, that we have a God in Christ Jesus who will bring us into mm-hmm. glory. Yeah, yeah. Isn't it amazing to think about how all of those things don't have any more power? They really don't. Because now it's just King Jesus yeah. who has the power. Yeah. And he's at work for us. And he's for us. He's with us, in us, and working through us. All of that. (laughs) None of the other things have power, and they don't matter. They're just like little yappy dogs or something. Yappy (laughs) dogs. Although yappy dogs can kind of scare me sometimes on runs. I will say that. True. Those ankle ankle biters. Oh, man. Um, (laughs) We really are on the Royal Caribbean. I mean, that's why we we, we, we coined this episode Royal Caribbean, because uh, Jesus, who is the royal of royals, right? Mm -hmm. He is the king of kings. He, mm-hmm. he's, he's in the boat with us, and, uh, and he's never going to leave us nor forsake yeah. us. And, and know that you aren't alone. You're not passed by. You have a mm-hmm. Jesus who absolutely adores you, loves you. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's delighted in you. Yes. Uh, he, uh, he calls you by name. He mm-hmm. knows the number of hairs on your head. Uh, he, knows, he knows your emotions better than you do. Mm-hmm. He knows your, circumstance, your circumstances better uh, than you do. And he says, it is I. Don't be afraid. Mm-hmm. And with those words, he gives us courage. Courage, yeah, to meet mm-hmm. the days ahead mm-hmm. uh, with certainty. Yes. That all will be well. Mm-hmm. Everything's going to work out yeah. in the end. Jesus said so. Yeah, the and sea. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Jesus said so. <laughs> 
<laughs> and he's breathing in his Holy Spirit and courage into yeah. us with those words, which is really cool to think about. Yeah. Um, that he's giving us courage right then and there. Yeah. And I'm going to say this. Please, please, please forgive me. Okay. All aboard! <laughs> You are forgiven. <laughs> I think that's a way to hear, like, you know, uh -huh, our, our, yes. our baptism, right? All yes, aboard. Exactly. We're, we're, yeah, yeah we're, we're in the boat, and so is Jesus. Yeah, we've embarked yeah. on this great adventure yeah. with Jesus. Yeah. Oh, man, yeah. That is, yeah, that, that, that's a whole nother video. <laughs> yeah, just, I love that image of, 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 of adventure. Uh-huh. Yeah. It is. It's an adventure, and we know, we know, we know the conclusion, the conclusion. Mm -hmm. you know, it's going to be a, a, you know, a chapter that has no end. Yeah. And we know the captain, Captain Jesus. And he's not going to fail us. Yeah, not like Captain uh, Jack Sparrow. <laughs> oh, totally no. not like that, Captain. <laughs> I've got that theme song in my head now. Oh, honestly, that music's pretty good. It's pretty good. I, I, uh -huh. yeah, I have that music going in my head now. Uh -huh. You're welcome. I'll, I'll, uh, you started it, though. I did. I'll <laughs> thank myself, I guess. Uh-huh. Oh, okay, dear friends. Enjoy uh, you know, setting sail with Captain Jesus on the Royal Caribbean, the Holy Christian Church, to that safe harbor of the new heavens and new earth where all will be well. You know, yes. By his wounds, we are healed. Well, by Amen. his wounds. We are healed. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> We're going to say it twice because it's so important. It's so important. <laughs> uh, until next time. See you later. Bye-bye.